Toggle Covenant, the DMK wants the perpetrators of these embezzlers to justice in a statement, Dynamics MGR Pods Row, DMK, said it had taken note of the Court of Auditor's audit report on the management of the COVID-19 response and solidarity funds. She asked the Prosecutor of the Republic to intervene in this case of COVID-19. She demands that the perpetrators of these misconduct be brought to justice and punished. Reading, when corruption can be justified by necessity, it has no boundaries. When will impunity end? The DMK has taken note of the Court of Audit report on the management of the COVID-19 response and solidarity funds. Indignation is at its peak coupled with great anger laid on social networks. At a time when offering one meal a day is part of the fighter's path for the Togolese, it is shocking to discover through this report that for a Nasingba's government, after having allowed the systematic plunder of resources mobilized to deal with COVID-19, is confused in a release to try to justify the widespread corruption that this audit report reveals and make the report say the opposite of its findings, a pernicious practice that the regime is customary. The release of this overwhelming audit report, which shows how lightly the covered funds are being managed is not surprising war for two reasons. One the soil and basement of our country are overflowing with enough resources to feed each of its children and ensure the well-being of the population. It is a fact that no one disputes, yet our country displays the permanent image of a war-torn country and its miserable population too since the 26th of April, 2012. For a Nassim Bey confessed to the Togolese people the existence of a pillory minority that threatens national cohesion and democracy in Togo. Unfortunately, so far he has not expressed any political will to end this enterprise of embezzlement of national resources, and for several decades, the same minority around him has been bleeding the country impunity and mocking the institutions of the republic supposed to defend and control the good governance of the state. How can we understand it when we lack classrooms in our schools across the country, quality teachers, scanners in our hospitals? Those who govern us in screaming illegitimacy can dispose of the country's resources at the will through skill management as described in this report, thus facilitating large-scale hijacking and concussion of any kind. It is against this practice denounced by Foray Nassim Bey himself, apparently powerless to moralize the management of the state by a harsh anti-corruption policy, that the people rose up as one man to sanction in the ballot boxes and reaffirm their sovereignty on the 22nd of February, 2020. Unfortunately, this victory confiscated with internal and external complicity and manoeuvres that do not honour democracy, continues to weigh on living harmoniously together in our country. The DMK demands that the funds illegally embezzled from the public treasury be returned as soon as possible and that the perpetrators of these embezzlers be brought to justice and punished. The DMK asks the prosecutor of the republic to step in this case of COVID-19. The DMK believes that once again, the Togolese people have just been betrayed by men and women who do not trust it and Foray Nassim Bey has to suffer all the consequences. The DMK calls on Foray Nassim Bey to abandon his mortal politics to unite the whole political class by releasing all political prisoners and ensuring the return of all political exiles, including MGR Podzro and Dr. Agbiome Kojo for a real political dialogue that can calm hearts and the return of trust, done in Lomé on 10 February, 2023. Conference of Presidents